Now then, it's Carl from Studio In Car. Behind me is Billy's Mark 7 TDI. I drove from Dumbarton to get here. It's a long, long way. A wicked stereo this. I know it's not a 911 or Ferrari or anything like that but it is often these jobs that make the best systems. This has got a Morel Elite Carbon 62A front end so it has the Alto tweeter big boy and the carbon mid base it's gorgeous. They're in a custom A pillar which is on axis with the driver and then we've got an Audison AFM 8.14 bit underneath the seat which is running also an active Audison APBX10. Now we're running the DRC in here, so we're controlling the sub output with that DRC. We're not using the base controller. The base controller for the APBX10 can be a little bit lumpy. It's got quite a high Q or a narrow Q at the top of its volume range, so we want to be able to control it in a, in a more linear fashion. Also, we're controlling master volume for a digital source. We have a camera kit in this car with a DAC. So there's a DAC going straight into the amplifier. So we have the head unit running as a master source, analog into the amplifier, and then we have a DAC running uh, directly from his phone into the amplifier should he want to take advantage of that. It's a much, much cleaner way of transferring data between you know, your, your phone and your, uh, your stereo, basically a much cleaner signal, full digital signal. So we're using the, the DAC not in the true sense of, uh, you know, we're not using it for digital to analog conversion. We're using it as a USB to fiber optic converter. So it's a pass through product, giving us a toss link input to the amplifier. And I can explain that to you if it's a sort of thing you're interested in, if you're looking to come through, but it just gives us a much cleaner transfer into the amplifier than say the factory head unit, which of course sounds a thousand times better than when it came in anyway. It's just that extra notch above. So. Yeah, let's take a look around the car. It's really hot today, it's in the 30s, uh, which is quite rare for the UK, so all the doors are open, the lighting will be off, there's fans going on, and it's the middle of the working day, so excuse me any noise, all right? Let's take a look at the boot. So there's the equipment there. This is the APBX10 in the boot. You can see down the side just there, these are on a fast release plug, so you can have them out in seconds. These are sort of Velcro feet on the floor, and this just will not go anywhere. It's solid on the floor, but should you want to load anything through, you can just whip it out. 10 seconds tops. These are the boxes for the products here. And then inside the car, you can see the pillars that Jamie's made. Like I say, the lighting isn't isn't perfect today because the the door has to stay open. We've got no AC. Custom controller panel in the centre there for his knob. So when he's sitting in the driving position and controlling his phone volume or sub volume or changing sources, that's where you would get that from. And then under the front passenger seat here, if you can see, that's the Audison amplifier there. And then our other integration devices are under the seat. Let's get the key and turn it on. Got the AC on in here because it's, uh, woo, it's hot. But you can see there, the controller's on, sits underneath your hand. You'll be driving along, you can turn your master volume up, you can turn your master volume down. If he's listening to his radio, he pretty much would have it up all the time and then just control volume on the radio. Uh, I've got it turned down at the moment, but yeah. Um, or you can select from here, one press, that's your sub volume. We've got it about two thirds at the moment. He can control that just on the fly. Or you can go to source change, which will be here. And you can hear, so I, I've had it on the DAP, uh, on the DAC input, whereas that's the radio input. So yeah, basically. And then if he wants, he can get his lightning cable, which is just here. 
usually just sits on his seat. Plug that into his phone, his phone sort of sits on there. He can change source to there. That's now his phone direct into his amplifier out to his system. So the head unit's not getting in the way of anything and he would control his master volume from here. He can skip tracks and whatever as you would and away you go. So yeah, it's quite a high spec option list in here. The front end's wicked, the subs really well in time and the controller just, it, it just helps everything work and just function in a more, uh, a more fluid manner, you know? So yeah, if you're after anything like that, you know, it doesn't have to be uh, a supercar, it could be any car. You know, one of the most common things we hear in here is that uh, I don't want to spend money on my van, I want to spend money on my, my car I've got in my garage that I use for a thousand miles a year. I would argue that we should probably work on the one you're in all the time because uh, that's it's where we can take advantage of that investment the most, you know, it's where our ears will be most of the time. So uh, yeah, this car, he uses it every single day and he's got a lovely drive back to Scotland. So um, I hope he enjoys it. Anyway, I'm Carl, it's a Studio In Car. Like I say, any inquiries, info at studioincar.co.uk. We'll see what we can do, discuss your projects. Take it easy.